Starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi guys, Fraser Brooks, Diamond Affiliate here for Sherlock Nation. Uh, we've got 7 p.m. UK time, 11 a.m. Pacific time. So instead of waiting any more time, I'm actually going to hand over to our CEO all the way over in Santa Monica, California, Mr. Michael. <coughs> Michael, are you there? I am, Fraser. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Terrific. Thank you. I want to um, say hello to everybody around the world. And, you know, what I wanted to do here today on today's webinar was really recap uh, our four-year anniversary uh, and then also share with you the slide presentation that I did at the four-year anniversary as well. We were, uh, you know, it was, it, it was great because we had, the, you know, three of the black diamonds, the leaders in the company be at, the, at the event for the first time ever together. Chuck Williams from the United States, Janat from, from Kazakhstan, and Simon Brooks um, from the UK, all in the room at the same time. We had a wonderful birthday celebration, shared some great information. I'm looking forward to going over with you guys today. Um, but, you know, one of the first things that I did over at the, uh, at the event was I wanted to give people really four, you know, after four years, I wanted to give a perspective on where we were at as a company and I wanted to compare it to some of the other companies and I wanted to compare it to companies that uh, you know we all know in the e-commerce space I wanted to compare it to mobile companies because that's really what we are as a mobile e-commerce company that uses direct sales as our method of, distribu of distribution and then I also wanted to share with you where some of the other companies in the network marketing space were four years into their existence as well to be able to give it a perspective. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of these companies and these are all household names that you guys know. They've gone on to become iconic companies in e-commerce and in mobile. Um, and the first one I want to talk and then I want to share with you again, you know, so you get some perspective a little bit about Sherlock. So let's first talk about Groupon. Um, you know, Groupon is an interesting story. In 2007, Groupon was actually founded, and at that time it was called The Point. And their business model was that when a certain amount of people basically signed up for a deal, then that was called the tipping point, and at that time the deal was on. Uh, and what happened was they actually changed their name, and that model didn't work. It didn't work, you know, they, they did it for almost two years, and that model didn't work, but what they found <clears throat> was that when they did a coupon and they used the groups to be able to do the coupon for businesses, um, that they had a better result, so they actually changed it, and they combined coupon and group, and they came up with the name Groupon. That was in November of 2008. They started as a one deal per day per city. Uh, that was that was basically what their start was, and through the end of 2010, they were in 50 cities in the U.S. and four countries. So literally, they started in the beginning of 2007. The end of 2010, they were in 50 cities in the U.S. and four different countries, and then last year they did 6.2 billion dollars in sales. So again, you know, looking for to try and find their way, they pivoted, they came up, and then they had the great success. That's Groupon. Let me talk a little bit about eBay. eBay was founded in 1995. eBay started really as a hobby site for its founder, Pierre Omidar, and what he was doing was selling printer cartridges and printer pointers, basically, from his website that he put up and because he started to get a significant amount of traffic that was going to his, re to his website, um, his service provider raised his fee from $30 a month to $250 per month and they started and it basically forced him to start charging for people that would also start to list some of their products on eBay. Meg Whitman was hired as their CEO, and that's, this was in March of 1998. So literally, guys, three years later, they had 30 employees, half a million users, and their revenues were $4.7 million. So after three years, $4.7 million, which we far exceeded, you know, in our third year in business. And when you look at it now in 2015, the revenues almost ten billion dollars in 2015. Let's look at Amazon. Amazon actually started as a company called Kadabra uh, in 1994. 
And what happened was that a year later, a lawyer actually misheard the name as Cadaver. Um, and so Jeff Bezos at that time decided to be able to change the name. And they actually went online as Amazon in 1995. And they went online, guys, as a bookstore. They were an online bookstore. That was the start of Amazon as an online bookstore. Barnes & Noble ended up suing them in 1997, three years after their existence. They got sued in 1997, or after they started as Cadabra. They got sued um, because they were claiming at the time that they were the largest bookstore. So Barnes & Noble sued them. Um, and then Walmart ended up suing them towards the end of 1998, saying that they had stolen some trade secrets by hiring former Walmart executives. So here they are, literally four years after Bezos, you know, first had the idea. The Bezos had the idea, um, and they'd been sued by Barnes and Noble, also by Walmart. They literally, guys, took seven years before they became profitable before they turned a profit. Today, Amazon does almost $100 billion in sales, and it's valued at $360 billion. Let's look a look, take a look at Facebook. Again, Facebook is the largest, and one of the things that I wanted to say also, I wanted to mention this about eBay, because a lot of people don't give it credit, but you know, we are now in what's called the sharing economy. And eBay was really the start of this, where they would give people an opportunity to be able to use the site to put up their products to be able to get rid of whatever it was that they wanted, you know, whether it's cars, boats, or what have you, through their auction process. Um, so they were really the start of the sharing economy, which has really started to take off now with Uber and Airbnb. Um, and some of those other companies into the sharing economy. Uh, but now I also wanted to talk about Facebook because Facebook started actually, and a lot of people don't know the history here, it actually started as a company called FaceMash on, on October the 28th, 2003. And Mark Zuckerberg put this site together and it was basically for, believe it or not, rating girls. Um, and asking, so he put one girl basically right next to each other and put the thing hot or not. Um, he, num he later renamed that to the Facebook, and then it became Facebook. On <clears throat> September 2006, so guys, three years later, after he initially launched FaceMash, three years later, he opened it up. It used to be just for college campuses and college students to be able to use it. Three years later, he opened it up to everybody that was at least 13 years of, years of age, and at that time, really a lot of people started to invite their friends and so forth and really were the responsible for building Facebook. This was in October of, of September of 2016. In, in, late 2007, in, in late 2007, so literally four years, they had 100,000 business uh, pages up because they allowed companies to come on and start to set up their business card uh, pages. Um, they started really as, and then they also introduced group pages as well. That was in 2007. Um, they did not become profitable basically again until 2009. Six years, guys, after their initial start, they became profitable. By the end of 2015, Facebook had 1.5 billion actor, uh, or active users. And active users who signed up once a day were 1 billion people once a day that would sign up. And they had 1.4 billion mobile monthly active users. Back in, and I was at an event in 2012 when, and it was a, um, a mobile conference. And at that conference, we had representatives from eBay, Amazon, Facebook, all the big companies were there in Silicon Valley. And at that event, they were talking about the amount of people that were starting to come to that platform uh, or, or visit Facebook and visit Amazon and visit eBay via mobile devices, guys. And at that time, they started to notice more and more people. Zuckerberg said at that time that, hey, we are going to transition into a mobile company because he saw the future that more and more people would be accessing Facebook through mobile. Literally, guys, in 2016, they've got projected revenue of over $20 billion, 
and they and and this of the last quarter where they just reported their income, they had over 80 percent of their revenue come from mobile. So he saw it way back when, in 2012, he changed the focus of his company. They added pictures and did some other things. And at that time, you know, and now look what's happened, over 80%. At that time, in 2012, they had zero advertising dollars coming from mobile. And now, basically, in 2016, in four short years, guys, they've gonna, they're going to have over $16 billion of their revenue coming from mobile. And again, you know, we talk about the sharing economy. Unfortunately, unlike other companies like the Ubers, like the Airbnbs, like the like the Ebays, unfortunately, Facebook never participated in that sharing economy because we're the ones that built Facebook. We're the ones that continue to put up content, you know, whether it be pictures or messages or video that drives people to Facebook, and Facebook is the one that makes the money that monetizes that, even though we built it. That's the difference, guys, is in this sharing economy, we also, Sherlock Nation, pays you for sharing our product with people. As then, as they benefit, you're the one that makes money. You know, it's interesting in this new economy, in the sharing economy, guys, you know, it's interesting that Uber became the largest transportation company in the world without owning a single car. Airbnb became the largest hospitality company in the world without owning a single piece of property. Facebook has become the largest media company in the world without producing a single piece of content. Um, so that's some of the things that we're most excited about here in our four years as, as, as well as where are we at? The company Facebook today, guys, is worth over $350 billion today. So I want to talk a little bit about our company and, and, and share with you guys a little bit about kind of what our results have been here, you know, over our first four years in existence. So we actually started in May of 2012. We started with a toolbar, um, for those of you that remember. And what's happened is that the internet's continued to evolve over time, and and the browsers like Explorer and Chrome and Safari um, and and Mozilla um, became less and less friendly uh, to toolbars, uh, and and actually, you know, it, it became more and more difficult to be able to download the toolbars in different parts of the world as Explorer can continue to come up with new iterations in Chrome and, and, and uh, Firefox and Safaris and so at Safari, the toolbar would always break and they'd make it more and more difficult to be able to have the toolbar. So we had to make some changes um, and we did. We continued to evolve the product. Uh, in September of 2012, we expanded into Taiwan, Russia and the Philippines. Um, we also started with, uh, you know, our launched really our first little version of the coupon of, of our coupon program with a, a company called Blip a Deal in 2012. In 2013, we had our first convention. We introduced a new company website. We upgraded our shopping platform. We introduced a blogging platform, a new support system. In June of 2013, we expanded into Italy. September of 2013, we released our pair report for Globals and Above that allowed them to be able to better manage their businesses in their back office. Um, a complete CRM program and management program in the back office for them. February of 2014, our second conversion. In April of 2014, we then actually expanded into Sweden in, in, in September of 2014. We did our. We we basically uh, introduced our first mobile app. It was really version 1.0, um, with the price comparison, the price scanner, the daily deals, the affiliate branding, a few affiliate coupons, uh, customer invitation. We also expanded into Kazakhstan. We introduced our Pay It Forward program also in 2014. Um, and then in 2015, we had our convention at sea over at uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. We expanded into Hong Kong. We had our third annual convention. We expanded into Nigeria. We actually rebranded because we became more than just shopping Sherlock. We became Sherlock Nation with Sherlock University, Sherlock Travel. Um, and so we, we, because of that, we expanded and, and became and broadened our, our appeal and our approach with our new branding to become Sherlock Nation. Um, and then in November, we introduced basically the diamond ranks, 
Um, we introduced the diamond pools. We introduced the cab bonus. Um, we hired our, our social media manager to be able to manage all of our social media, to expand our social media presence. And then also we started our company newsletter as well that we did. So those are all basically things that we've started. Um, and again, in April, we've had additional expansion into Mexico, Colombia, Costa Rica. We just got licensed to be able to do business in Colombia. We formed a Colombian corporation as well. So those are a little bit of our accomplishments. As you guys knew, we grew over, grew over 300% in revenue, basically, from 2013 through 2015, a good, healthy 300% growth in revenue. Unlike these other companies, guys, that you're looking at that have become giants in the industry, that took years and years and years to profitability. You know, we were profitable early on. We were profitable in month two with this business. So, um, you know, we've had very, very good success leading up to now's time point to the four-year time period. But I wanted to give you, again, just a little bit of perspective so that you understand what some of these other companies have gone through in that time. And here's the thing, now I want to kind of share with you, so I've shared with you a little bit of the perspective with some of the e-commerce giants, with one of the mobile giants, because you would call now Facebook a, a, you know, a mobile company. I wanted to give you a little bit of perspective of that base, of those industries, the e-commerce and mobile, which we participate in. But I also want to now relay this a little bit and relate it to network marketing. Um, and so I want to give you a little bit of history of some of the companies in network marketing so that you can see how we compare to some of those companies as well. The first one that I want to talk about is really, and I wanted to use NewSkin because I've used this graph before to basically show you what happens with network marketing companies that become the iconic companies and why right now we are so well positioned as the mobile network marketing company, you know, in the network marketing industry. You know, nobody else is doing what we do. Um, and so we have a distinct advantage of being really at this point the mobile company in the network marketing arena. But when you look at this, you know, here's an example, and I use Newskin as an example. So from 1984 to 1989, they did basically went to $40 million. But look at the line, guys, that when, you know, of, of how they got there. You know, it was pretty much of a flat line. And in network marketing, those first five years, um, and New Skin fit this pat pattern perfectly, and this is why I wanted to share it. The first five years are known as the formulation and concentration phase. And this is where products are formulated, where they get their operations together, you know, whether it's manufacturing, shipping, warehousing, their customer service, their website, they start to refine it, they get it out in beta, they start to do some marketing. They're refining and, you know, their operations in that first five-year time period. The iconic companies then go into what's called massive momentum. That happened to New Skin. From 1989 to 1990, they went from 40 million to 240 million dollars in sales. They doubled the next year to 500 million, and in 1993, they went to a billion dollars in sales, guys. So literally, look at this: from 1989 to 1993, in a four-year time period, after their five years of formulation and concentration, they then went from 40, 40 million to a billion, and during that time. They created over 500 millionaires and many, many other thousands and thousands and thousands of people that were making, you know, anywhere from $40,000 a year up to the million dollars a year in income. And now they are, you know, they, they started in, in 1984, so here they are now, um, literally 32 years old. They do still do, I think this year they'll do about two and a half to three billion dollars here this year in 2016. They become an iconic company, and that's really what our goal is, guys, to have that kind of a, a history similar to New Skin. But I also wanted to share with you, you know, a few other companies out there and let you know where they are that, you know, successful companies that you guys all know. You know, World Ventures actually started in 2003, I believe it was. In 2010, they ran into some hiccups, some issues, um, where even for a, sm for a part of the year, they asked their, um, their leaders to be able to defer their income um, and that was in 2010 and 2011, they actually ended up terminating their, their number one distributor. 
uh, their lead income earner at that time. They ended up terminating him. They got involved, broiled in several different lawsuits as well along the way. Um, and then they went on to be able to survive that, continue to refine their product. And here this last year, they did roughly about $700 million in, in, in sales this last year. Um, that was World Ventures, as we all know. Um, but So I, I wanted to share that with you. But I, And I also wanted to share a little bit with you the why Sherlock and the trends that we're in front of as well. Um, and then I'll get back to talking a little bit more about some of the network marketing companies. But this is some of the reasons that, you know, when we looked at, at uh, starting the company literally four years ago, uh, we looked at being able to, you know, I, my background is in the Internet space. I've been in the Internet space, for those of you that know my story, since 1994 when Netscape first came out with their browser. I put together really the first trade show and conference for the Internet industry called Online Expo in, in Silicon Valley in L.A. and New York, and we had a lot of the early Internet companies that would that were exhibiting sponsoring their CEOs were either keynoting or heading up conference tracks um, and so I've been in the internet now for literally 22 years when we looked at you know what when, when we made a decision to get involved and launch Sherlock we looked at what the trends were going to be on the internet and how to position people to be able to profit from those trends you've heard many stories about companies and, and, and entrepreneurs that have made a fortune positioning in front of the trends that have happened in the internet, but there's never really been a company that's been able to give the people that participated that grew that company an opportunity to be able to profit. So we looked at what those trends were and we thought at the time it was going to be basically a couple of the biggest opportunities were going to be in e-commerce and in mobile. And in fact, when you look at it, um, that the growth in those areas has bared itself out um, and we position this company to be able to write squarely in front of those trends that are not only sweeping the you know North America and sweeping Europe but sweeping the world so when you look at it you know eMarketer projected that in 2015 for example and this is the, you know that that uh, e-commerce was 1.672 trillion dollars they're projecting here by 2019 to more than double from that to 2000, you know, to 3.5 trillion. And guys, let me tell you what's driving it. Mobile is what's driving it. As you know, that mobile device has become the most personal device in the history of technology. Everybody now has a smartphone, and if they don't have a smartphone now in the next two to three years, everybody in the world will have a smartphone. And look at the growth, guys, in mobile. Look at what's happening. It went in mobile commerce. It went from literally $204 billion in 2014 to 2018. It's projected to be $600 billion tripling a billion dollar industry that will triple in four years guys and they're projecting that by 2018 46 percent of all commerce will be done via the mobile phone in literally two more years almost half of all commerce e-commerce will be done over the mobile phone business is about positioning yourself in front of trends and then being able to execute that's exactly what we've done with Sherlock, and that's one of the reasons we're so excited about the progress and excited about what we're sharing with you here in year four. Let me also talk about a little bit of the trends in network marketing and some of the things that are happening. And one of the things that I want to talk about, in the one, again, you know, talking about some network marketing companies, I want to highlight this company and give you a little bit of their history as well. Um, this company, Jeunesse, you know, and, and just to give you an understanding, Jeunesse was previously a company called Freedom Fuel International, um, and Freedom Fuel International was a fuel pill, and the primary people that were participating in Freedom Fuel International were they, you know, they had a lot of the truckers, the transportation pill, or transportation people. You would put this pill in your fuel tank, and it would, you know, save you, or it would uh, uh, basically get you better mileage. Uh, that was their start. That's what they started as. Uh, and then what happened is literally three years later, they had a convention, and at that convention, they then became Jeunesse, um, which was at the time a skincare company. 
So they went from a fuel pill to a skincare company. Um, they started slowly, basically. In 2013, they started to gain some momentum. Um, and then literally last year in 2015, so they started to gain some momentum in 2013. In 2015, guys, they went, then went to over a billion dollars in sales in 2015. From a fuel pill company to a skincare company and then to a billion dollar company. But these are some of their products now. They've now expanded into some nutritional products as well. Um, but this is, and, and the reason I'm sharing this with you is I wanted to also share with you some of the trends that are happening in network marketing and why we're so well positioned here with Sherlock to be able to capitalize, again, not only the trends that are happening around the world with e-commerce and mobile, but also the trends that are happening in network marketing. This is the best, so, so Jeunesse has done a, a, a significant amount of business in Asia. The majority of their business comes from Asia. In Asia, their best-selling product is resveratrol. Now, res, this resveratrol has been on the market for a long, long time, but they package it and they market it on their website. As a preferred customer, resveratrol for a month's supply is $137.95. But if you Sherlock it, you'll find that same product basically on eBay for $56, and it includes shipping. The resveratrol product that you're seeing here does not include shipping. By the time you ship this to Asia, you're probably, with tax and shipping, you're probably looking at $160 landed in Asia for this product. Yet you can find it basically on the internet and by Sherlocking it for $56, including shipping. Their best-selling product in other parts of the world, including South America, is a product called Luminess. It's a cellular rejuvenation serum. On their website, this product sells for $137.95, not including shipping and, and tax. Again, if you Sherlock this, you see the same product on Amazon, the exact same product on Amazon for $65, $64.99, including shipping. So what's happening, guys, is that you know these companies, because I've given the seed capital to two network marketing companies to get started. I put the CEO in place in one. I've consulted for several others. These companies look to mark their product up at least seven times, sometimes more from their manufacturing costs so that they can pay out 40% in commissions to the field. What's happening is that when somebody's not successful in the business and they've bought $500 to $1,000 with the product because either they want it to be able to sample out or they want it to qualify for a certain position in the comp plan, and they're not successful, they're looking to put their product up anywhere that they can to be able to liquidate it so they can try and recoup as much of their money as possible. It's a natural thing. Now, New Skin, or Mary Kay tried to, sell, to, um, to sue eBay to stop eBay from listing Mary Kay products on eBay. They were unsuccessful. New Skin has tried to do the same thing from stopping New Skin uh, people from listing New Skin on Amazon on these other e-commerce sites. There's more and more e-commerce sites that are coming up all the time. If those companies that are billion dollar companies have not been success successful through the law and legally trying to do that, what chance do these other companies have? This is a trend that you're going to continue to see in network marketing, guys, is these product-based companies that are marking their products up significantly to be able to cover their costs and pay out 40%, 40% and still be able to be profitable to be able to do other things. This is a problem. This is a trend that you're going to continue to see in network marketing. That's why you guys are so well positioned with Sherlock to be be able to take advantage of it because at Sherlock we're all about helping people find the best deals on products and services. It's what they're doing anyway on the internet. They're price comparing, they're shopping, they're, when they're buying things, they're basically they're looking at reviews when they're, they're going for hotels or looking to be able to travel. All we've done, guys, is given them an opportunity to be able to do it more effectively, more efficiently. And at the same time, we've given you an opportunity to be able to give away our app for free, 
that helps people save time and money, you make money as people benefit from the use of it, and you build a team of people that do the same thing, and you can pretty much build that team all over the world. That's why this company will become a billion-dollar company, and that's why you're so well-positioned here with Sherlock. Um, you know, I want to talk a little bit about Sherlock 2.0 and some of the, you know, changes and so forth that we're doing, uh, you know, with Sherlock 2.0 and some of the things that you can look at. You know, Fraser did a great job yesterday on his uh, Google Hangout. Um, and we've got, uh, you know, the, the video of his Google Hangout that you can see. But, I, you know, this time we did things a little differently. And let me tell you why. In September when we launched version 1.0, really our first version, what we did was we launched it and we got it out to you guys to basically beta and break it and so forth. And we got a lot of great feedback. And as we were going along, we continued to incorporate that feedback. But what we wanted to do basically was at this point, we wanted to beta it right away and give you guys an opportunity to be able to break the app, give us your feedback before we then released it to the stores, before we then released it and made it live. Um, so that's what we've done here, but I want to share with you some of the things and, and kind of give you a little bit of an idea about what that beta is going to look like and how it's going to work. So, you know, one of the things that we've done is we've actually changed the registration process. We've made it much easier to register. You'll be able to register now via Facebook, some of your other social media that you have, via LinkedIn, via Google+. It'll automatically pre-populate. Um, to be able to help you register and then we kept like a little bit of demographic information and the reason like your birthday and the reason that we're doing that guys is it allows us to be able to better target the offers, the ads and so forth to you guys. You're seeing data science start to become the next big thing, big data analytics. What we're able to do is customize results for you guys based on your demographics but at the same time it makes the information more valuable to the advertisers as well because they can differ, deliver more targeted ads. We're able to get more money from the advertisers by being able to do that. That then increases our usage commission. And we wanted to make it very simple and easier for you to and easy for you to be able to use. We also have our whole invite process as well that we've that we've changed and made it easier to be able to invite friends. And then also once you invite, you can see who you've invited. You can see basically who signed up for the app. You can see what your rewards are as well. Um, so we've made the tracking on the invite. We've changed loyalty to rewards. So now not only can we are we going to be rewarding you with points and so forth that you can then redeem for inviting people and having your friends and your customers invite people, but also as you continue to use the app to be able to buy things, we've improved, improved our reward system so that you can now go in and, and, and be able to make more rewards for doing different activities, and we knew with that we would increase the engagement of the app, again, to be able to increase your usage income. And, by the way, with some of our new uh, um, partnerships and so forth, and the way that we've structured what's called our APIs, we're now able to track a lot of this back to the individual so that instead of paying by pools, we can now also be able to pay for you for your individual, for individually, for the apps that you've shared and the people that have used the app. It's not going to be on all the activities, but with some of our bigger partners like the Amazon, the Ebays, and so forth, and with Sherlock Local, we can track that individually so you'll be rewarded on that usage income individually as well. That's another reason that we've done this. Also on the branding, and you've seen the way that the branding works, we've actually changed the branding to be able to make it more valuable, easier to be able to use also for our, you know, the customers that have businesses. We've also done a testimonial section as well so that you can go ahead and you can create a testimonial and upload your testimonials. Um, and then part of that testimonial thing that you'll see, you'll see the testimonials on the bottom if you look at it, the bottom of the ad. Um, and then you'll also see test testimonials. They'll be relevant testimonials. So you can choose basically and scan to see relevant testimonials. You'll be able to share those testimonials on social media. So, for example, you're out at a restaurant or you're out somewhere and you're having a great meal and maybe it's with Sherlock Local or another company and you want to share that on all your social media 
media, you can create a testimonial and share that instantaneously. Um, and you know, right on all your social media as well. So that's something that we're really excited about, the testimonials. This is an idea with regards to the old search and the new search, guys. On the old search, it would bring up these different companies. You'd have to scroll through each company to be able to try and find it. We've made it now so that you can basically, it's all on one page. You can, you know, you can, you can actually look at it via, you know, if you want to look at it via price, high price, low price. You can actually go ahead and, and, and have the display shown to you in a number of different ways. Um, but this is the way that it works as well. So it's all now on one page. It's made it so much simpler. One of the things that we looked at is how do we increase that customer experience? You know, that user experience. How do we make it simple and easy for them to be able to use? This is all feedback that we got from version, uh, you know, 1.0 that, we, that we've incorporated in 2.0. We're also doing advertising, guys, so that you know when the search happens, that instantaneously you're starting to search for a product. You put in, say, you know, iPad, iPod, or whatever it is that you want to put in, and as it's searching and then bringing up those results, it'll show you a short ad. And again, with that ad, we're working on making sure that those ads are customized for you, specifically for you know your demographics. And with that, it increases the value to our advertisers, which again is going to increase. This is another uh, um, component of our usage income. It's another revenue stream that we're going to be paying out to people. And this just you know shows you you know all the way through. Basically, you can see the product. You can go buy the product. You can expand the view of the product as well. We've just made it simpler easier to be able to use and we've expanded our opportunity to be able to drive revenue, drive engagement, create different revenue streams to be able to boost your income as well, that usage income. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about how the beta is happening and what we're doing. So now basically we release the app so that you can start to play with it, you can test it. Um, the and and that will be basically and we'll we'll do that for the first couple of weeks. You can test the the product search and how that all works and a couple other components. And week three we'll add the the deals part, the the daily deals, the local deals as well will be added in week three, um, so that you can see that and look at that. And again, give us your feedback as a beta tester. Um, we'll then take those, you know, that initial feedback that we get in the beta tester. We'll, you know, fix the bugs that we have base, that we have out there. We'll take your input with regards to, you know, the user experience and how we can tweak it and make it a little bit better. So that'll be week three and week five. We'll add the hotel section. Um, and week six, we'll add the flight section as well. So we'll continue to add these different components. And then what we're looking to be able to do is in week eight, the apps will upload the apps into the stores, both the iTunes store and in Google Play, and it'll go live. Now, you know, the old app still works, guys, so you can still use that. You can still do business and so forth. What we're doing is rather than being in a situation where we release the app, and then had you then beta test it to be able to try and break it and get out the bugs. We just decided to basically do this in a private beta with you guys. You can still share it. You can still do all that. We've released it in a private beta so that we can get the feedback from you guys up front so that when we release it to the stores this time, we've gotten all your feedback. You know, we've worked out the majority of the bugs and so forth. So this is what we're doing right now. We opened it up in, in, you know, at the UK event. Um, so we opened up the, the, the beta testers at the UK event, um, but we're now opening it up basically to everybody else as well. So if you, if you, so the, the attendees were able to go ahead and do this, um, to become a beta tester, you're at the forefront and why at the forefront of the future of our app. You make a difference by providing the feedback up front. You see the latest features as they get released. And then we continue to up, to update you. And, the, and where do you go? Basically, you go to this place, that's signup.sherlocknation.com to become a beta tester. Okay? So that's what you need to do. We're looking for beta testers. We want your feedback. So please go and participate and be able to do that. Um, and then I wanted to talk also a little bit about Sherlock Local, guys. This is something that we're really excited about. We're in beta right now with Sherlock Local in Costa Rica and Mexico. Um, I will tell you that I believe, and again, I'm just going to take it back for a second. You saw that Groupon, when they basically started as the point 
with their product. It took them two years to figure out that that wasn't working and then to basically evolve and iterate to then become on. And then it took them, you know, years after that, you know, the next year it was basically one deal per day per city and they expanded internationally. Had they had some international expansion, we released Sherlock Local in September, guys. We've already got it back and we're now have iterated this product. I believe that this product is not only going to be as good as the Groupon product that's out there with its features and functionality, but guys, it's not only is it free for the businesses to be able to sign up, but we, we get 15% commission. Groupon comes in, they dictate what deals the merchant basically are going to have. They try to get the merchant to do at least 50% you know, with regards to their offering, their savings, or they threaten to go to a competitor of theirs, and they take generally 50%. We only take 15%, so it's free for these businesses to be able to sign up. What this is going to do is, guys, there's so many small businesses out there. They see their business being canalized by e-commerce. They see the growth in mobile. They understand what's happening, but for them to produce their own mobile app, and to be able to do that, it's a costly endeavor. They're so busy running their own business, you know, and just being able to, to, to uh, you know, survive and run their own business on a day-to-day -day basis, they don't have the time to go out and do the mobile apps, to be able to do the marketing, to be able to do that. We provide that solution for them. It's a turnkey solution for them. It's free for them to be able to utilize we take 15%, we take that usage income, we basically also, that commission, we pay it out to you guys for the reps that actually, you know, are able to go out there and distribute the apps. And again, what we've done is not only have we increased the value of our app, by bringing in these local deals, these local businesses in your area, but we've also increased the, so we've increased the value by doing that, We've also, with that, we're increasing the engagement of people that will be using the app, your customers. We're driving sales. We're sh able to share those sales and what's happening you know, via social media for you guys to be able to promote those local deals. And again, you guys are making usage income. So it builds our revenue that we're then paying out to you guys in usage income as well. Um, right now with Sherlock Local, you know, we, we basically, and again, here's an individual deal so that you can see over in Costa Rica and what that looks like and how you can buy it. One of the great things also with Sherlock Local is we have gift cards. You can give them away as gifts. We will be incorporating some of the Sherlock Local deals also in our rewards points as well, um, which we're really excited about. And what we're doing right now is we're looking also for people in your area that want to be Sherlock Local representatives. There will be a certification program to be a Sherlock Local representative, so you will have to be certified. So if you're interested in repping Sherlock Local as well, um, you just go to sign up dot sherlocklocal.com let us know that you're interested and we will share with you again the whole beta testing process and how it works and the certification process so go to sign up dot sherlocklocal.com um, and you can go ahead and do that we're also um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about as well um, is a major event that's coming up in December um, and this is really is a do not miss for people um, Eric Worre is probably the best trainer in our industry right now with regards to network marketing business, the network marketing business. Um, really from A to Z, guys, with uh, how to, you know, his, his whole series is really, you know, it's, it's about go pro um, and be a professional network marketer. Uh, not only is he probably the best trainer, but he also brings together the top people in, their, in our industry and some of the top um, uh, personal development trainers and so forth to be part of this. Uh, a number of us were at the event here in, 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 in Las Vegas this year. I believe there was about 8,000 people there, um, somewhere around there. It was electric. They had literally all the million dollar earners in the network marketing industry there. Um, a lot of them got on stage and talked about basically what they did to become a million dollar earner and share their tips, their tools, their techniques to be able to do that. Um, and the one coming up this December is really going to be off the chart. They will have 17,000 people at the Las Vegas Convention Center. 
amongst some of the speakers will be that will be doing um, programs there will be Tony Robbins, Sir Richard Branson, and again some other of the top speakers not only around the world but also the leaders, the seven figure earners in network marketing will be there. This is a do not miss guys and what we've done is basically the tickets are $500 a piece we I, I, we were able to procure a hundred tickets at three hundred dollars. We had to buy a hundred tickets at three hundred dollars. We're just giving you basically those tickets at three hundred dollars. And guys, if you come in and you sell five of those tickets, basically, yours is free. So if you sell five of those tickets, yours is free. And the top three actually of the sellers of tickets, will also receive a VIP ticket um, at the event where you'll be able to rub elbows with these seven-figure earners, be able to do the private parties and so forth. This is a can't-miss event. To be able to sign up, go to gopro.sherlocknation.com. I believe we have something like 60 tickets left. Um, but if you're serious about the network, your network marketing career, this is definitely the best training event that you can go to all year long. So we're really excited about this event. So go sign up. And I wanted to tell you, I wanted to use this as a segue, guys, because I wanted to share with you also the new Sherlock travel platform and just some of the deals that are available. So just to let you know, so this is, you know, we looked at some of the hotels. And by the way, at the event, We've also reserved for Sherlock Nation a, a, a hall, a room at the Las Vegas Convention Center where right after the event we are going to be doing a meeting for Sherlock Nation where we're going to be summarizing everything that happened at the event and creating a strategy and a 90-day game plan for you to take your business also to the next level again. And we will be inviting some of the seven-figure earners and some of Eric's people also to be able to come in and share at that event as well. So, you know, just to give you an, an idea, this is a four-star hotel right on the Strip. Um, and I wanted to use this to show just from our travel pl platform and our travel program what travel is able to do and, and, and the, really the value, guys, and the benefits of our travel platform. So this is called the SLS. It's a four-star resort. And what we're looking at here, for example, is December 1st through the 5th. Um, that would be for four nights for the event. On, If you look at Hotels.com, which is probably, you know, besides Expedia, probably the biggest hotel company in, you know, with an online uh, travel company, Hotels.com, the, the four-night stay basically here is $488. On Sherlock Travel, guys, $265, literally a $220 savings, the exact same rooms, the exact same nights, almost half price, 50% savings off Hotels.com for this. So literally, you know, you're able to go for, you know, $60, what is that, $60 something dollars a night, guys, in pounds, if you guys, you know, for pounds, it's $40 a night, you know, for this. So these are just one of the examples of Sherlock Travel and some of the things that you're able to, some of the savings, some of the benefits. I will tell you that there are travel companies out there right now that we have a better travel savings platform on that are charging more money for a sign-up fee and more money on a monthly basis than we're charging for our, you know, for, for our entire platform, guys. So many of these companies. I will put our travel platform up against any travel company out there. Just to give you an idea, here's another thing that we're doing and using our, some of the, the, the products that we have with our travel platform. From now till June the 30th, Anybody that qualifies, and this is to showcase and highlight our new travel platform, guys, from now until June the 30th, anybody that basically gets a cab bonus, and the cab bonus is you basically get two people in a week, you make sure that they've signed up for their Payoneer and their monthly subscription, you get a share in the cab bonus, which has been ranging anywhere, ranging anywhere from $130 to $150, and just to kind of you know, give you guys an idea on that cab bonus. You know, the cab bonus, you have somebody new that comes into the business, 
they get involved in their first week or second week or whenever they sign up two people, they get the hundred dollar fast start bonus, I'll say a hundred and forty dollar cab bonus. That's almost and they get that cab bonus the following Friday. They pretty much covered the cost for their license fee for the initial product purchase right then and there. And then they go on to get four people, you know, four that are on ownership, their business is free. But as a special benefit here until June the 30th, <clears throat> anybody that basically gets their cab, that qualifies for the cab bonus, also gets an additional $300 travel card off of a resort week anywhere in the world. You can see here in the US, Mexico, Canada, Caribbean, Europe, Australia, South Pacific, and if you hit the plus button, you'll see the drop down menus on all these. These are thousands and thousands of the top resorts in the world guaranteed guys to be the lowest price of av available guaranteed and over and above that we give you a three hundred dollar travel discount or card to be able to be to take off over and above the guaranteed lowest price and that's through June the 30th we've already had our first person qualify just you know as of yesterday Pam Benjamin from the US just qualified it as of yesterday we just launched this over the weekend so congratulations to Pam um, this is our ca uh, cab bonus and then also we're doing a worldwide vacation sweepstakes guys the top individual recruiter through July the 31st gets vacation at any one of these resorts anywhere in the world paid for it's a full vacation basically week at these top resorts around the world and it's paid for um, we don't cover the airfare but you know this is these are resorts for a week anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars to three thousand dollars for the week and that's going to the top recruiter through July 31st and again that's to highlight you know some of our um, the, our new travel platform and really the upgraded version of our travel platform as well we're really excited about that I can tell you I was just in in the UK for the event I stayed in London um, for a couple days I stayed at the M by Mount Bomb basically I looked up at a hotels you know dot com Expedia Travago and just on our travel platform alone I was able to save over a couple hundred dollars for that two night stay as well um, so those are incredible offerings when you look at the package guys and you look at how far I wanted to put it in perspective for you guys because I wanted to show you how far this company has come in four years and guys we're just getting started we are positioning these com this company in front of the, some incredible trends that are sweeping the world. We're continuing to make progress <clears throat> to upgrade our products, to upgrade our apps, you know, to give you guys an opportunity to be able to participate and to be able to allow you in this sharing economy where more and more people are looking to become entrepreneurs, looking to make extra money, we are looking to be able to give you the best product, the best company, the best opportunity so that you can participate in the sharing economy that's sweeping the world, so that you can participate in the e-commerce revolution that's sweeping the world, so that you can participate in the mobile revolution that's sweeping the world. And how do you do it? You give away the app for free, you make money as people benefit, and you build a team of people to do the same thing. Guys, this was my presentation really on, you know, at the, for the four-year anniversary. Um, we will become a legacy company with Sherlock Nation. Our goal is to be a billion-dollar company. I wanted to thank everybody that's been involved with this company really since the beginning and come on as we've continued to grow and evolve. Um, you know, this is it, – it, 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 one of the things that I've learned in my time is it's not necessarily about the company, it's not about the product, it's not about the compensation plan, it's really about the field. The only asset that we have as a company is really you guys out in the field. I'm incredibly appreciative of everything. I know we've changed lives so far. We shared some of those stories of the lives that we've changed so far um, in our four years, some incredible stories. Um, but again, guys, we've only just begun. So let's change your life. Let's basically make this your vehicle for your financial future, to be able to secure your financial future for you and your family. Thank you very much for uh, participating, and, and we're going to be having a recording of this that we'll be getting out as well. Uh, bye for now.